Good afternoon, Nations Bus YouTube channel followers. Coming to you today from St. Augustine, Florida at the home of Nations Bus. And it's a beautiful March afternoon and I have a very unique piece of transportation equipment. Um, and actually it's a mobile office. And this is uh, sort of geared towards medical field or optometry or uh, in an intake office. Um, I'll give you a, a walk around in just a moment, show you some really neat features on, on this Sprinter van. So this is a Mercedes. Uh, and this is, uh, as you can see, as in white, it's the high top version. So it's a very popular platform. This particular unit has electric wiring system for 120 volt AC outlets and 12 volt DC equipment. Um, it has LED lights on the inside with dim switches. It has electric outlets with USB ports all over the vehicle. There are roof panels and they're insulated. There are wall panels and they're also insulated. The flooring is vinyl. It has a pocket door system. So there's two separate uh, areas inside the van and I'll show you that as I do a walk around. There's uh, equipment as far as uh, custom stuff. There, are, There's a, a custom rack in there and there's a, a bench, a couple different benches. So I'll take you around and show you the main control panel on the rear and the uh, rooftop AC uh, system. There are two of those on there and these, uh, these are blowing ice cold. Um, but what's really neat about this, it's not your typical generator operated electrical office mobile office this has the eco kit on it so this has the lithium batteries there's five of them 250 amps it has three solar panels on the roof and i'll show you those as well um, it has uh monitors for the batteries control panels it even has a small generator located underneath on the bottom uh, that'll get you some power if you if you were to get somewhere and you, you run it all day, which it can run without any problems, but let's say you run over and uh, you need a little more power to power up. It actually has a, a gasoline generator that is fed through the uh, Mercedes fuel tank and you can get enough power to charge those, those systems back up um, without having to go to shore power. So there is a shore power, you plug it right into a, a 110 outlet and charge her overnight and she's ready to run all day again the next day. Um, it has an electric step. The door is uh, set where it only opens up to a doorway. You'll see how that van door is open where it is right now. It doesn't need to open all the way. Uh, it just creates a doorway with the electric step. I'll give you a quick walk around and then we'll go inside. Paint it all white. I have the rear open so you can see the second part of the office from behind or medical unit, if you want to call it that. You can see all the panels for electric stuff. There's your quiet inverter. Now, there is no noise there because there's no generator on this. So that's what's really neat. You hear it, the only thing you hear running right now are those rooftop air conditionings which I'm gonna show you along with the solar panels as we go up this ladder. So there are your three solar panels right in between the two AC units. The AC units are purring quietly and producing a lot of cold air right now. We'll come back down. Bring you around. Driver's compartment is tented. I said this is a new van. Brand new. Driver and co-pilot. And it is partitioned off from the rear of the office. No riders on board the rear. Just the driver and the co-pilot seat. They did the fascia really nice and white. Quiet engine, barely hear that running. On the interior, this is the first part. Okay, so now that we're in here, you see the AC unit and the LED lights. 
very cold. A little lam laminated table above this storage area in the midship. Like I said, nice use of power supply. You got your USB ports mounted in the middle of the standard switches. Cat 5. There's surveillance system interior and exterior on this. Plenty more power spots here for whatever type of equipment y'all need to install. And everything could be mounted down once we decide what you need to have in here. Pocket door separates to the back. I have the doors open, but obviously they'd more than likely be closed. More power supply, I mean power everywhere. So if there's a type of equipment that is uh, powered up above, there's easy to do that or, or midway up or down on the floor. Again, you don't hear a generator running. All you hear is the fans of a cold air conditioner trimmed out in grays, light gray and dark gray. Another seat there. Here's a view looking forward. More storage and a desktop there. There's a lot of modifications that still can be done. This is done locally. So uh, if you have a certain uh, format or floor plan that needs to take shape for your business to operate better, we can uh, handle that. So just wanted to give you a shot of everything. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Be a great optometry lab or anything like that. Electric step just came out. I'll give you one more shot from the front corner looking here. And there she is, nationsbus.com. Feel free to give us a call. We can, if it's uh, nearby, we can, we can bring this to you and we can change floor plans if we need to. But it's pretty much turnkey, ready to go.